Hey, tell you how they champs. Now let's talk about this Huawei. Maple Caps Pro. I have a deal for you guys. If you're stuck with Windows Home and you want to get Windows Pro, or you just want cheap office keys, gaming keys, or gift card vouchers, head on down to 09. Look in the description for the links and a discount code to get even more of a discount. So if you guys are new around here, come on. Sub up, give me a like, get on the Woo train. I would really appreciate that. Now, basically just been launched in the UK and Australia. Sold out everywhere. They actually had queues at the Microsoft store. Can you believe that in Sydney? They had queues. Is that the first time it's ever happened there? <laughs> and it is literally sold out online here in Australia. So man, come on Huawei, get some of these things out there. So people obviously want them and I can see perfectly why they do. Now this is the gaming review. We'll have a full review coming out soon. So by no shape or form is this a gaming laptop. I mean, if you want a gaming laptop, don't buy this. But it'll get the job done. You're not going to be playing the highest settings and you're not going to be getting in excess of 60 frames per second, but it, it can game. It has a two gigabyte MX150 graphics card. This model I have here has the i7-855U. That's 1.8 gigahertz, quad core, 15 watt part and it also has 16 gigs RAM. Now you want to get the one with the graphics card, this particular model here, because that's what takes this laptop to the next level. You're getting a package as small and as light as a 13 inch MacBook Pro, but it has graphics. And it's at a really aggressive price point too, especially compared to even XPS 13 or MacBook Pro. It's very good value considering what you get. And this display on this is Friggin' awesome. 3 by 2 13.9 inch, let's say 14 inch. We'll call it a 3K display maybe. 3000 by 200. It is one of the best displays I've seen on a laptop. It's touch screen, bright, crisp, vivid. And actually you can set it to 200% scaling. So it's actually a doubling of the pixels. So it remains super sharp, of course. It's not meant for gaming. And the pixel response isn't going to be like a gaming laptop. But even though the settings aren't high in the games, it still looks good on this display. And the sound is really excellent too, like one of the best sound systems on a laptop. So let's get stuck into the games. I would say overall, this is a 720p, 1080p, medium textures, low settings. You're really going to have to tweak those settings to get a good performance. If you have a look here, I'll show you my Fortnite settings. That's 1080p, textures, anti-aliasing on medium, and then just everything else low. I was getting, you know, over 50 frames per second with that. Now, DSX Mankind Divided, PUBG, Witcher 3, I had to lower down to 720p and do the same sort of thing. GTA 5, it liked GTA 5. I was able to play at normal settings, virtually around 60 frames per second. So although in terms of gaming, it's not going to blow you away, it's much better than a 13-inch laptop that doesn't have a graphics card, which those ones, they can't really play AAA titles. This one can it's not the best settings out there, but it's better than nothing. And I think a lot of people will give up the performance of a full-on 15-inch for the form factor of this and how small it is. So I've pretty much done that with all the games, medium textures, a little bit of anti-aliasing and turned everything else to low. And I just set the resolution depending on how many frames I could get, obviously. If I was only getting 30 frames per second, I'd lower it down to 720p from 1080. I think you'll agree they're pretty good for something so small and light. And it's going to be interesting to see how it performs video editing. But just on the one render test I've done, it's like twice as fast as something like an XPS 13. Just because it has that graphics card, it really does truly make a difference. So when it comes to heat, temperature and noise, it's not a particularly loud laptop, especially compared to obviously a gaming laptop. But of course, under load, you're going to hear it. Temperatures in the 70s, doesn't matter how long you're going for, the temperatures will be in the 70s. The heat is all controlled by the frequency of the CPU, which can drop down to about 7 watts, depending on the game. And you can get a frequency of, you know, 1.8 or something like that. Now, if you undervolt it, and I was able to undervolt this by minus 100 millivolts, you'll be able to boost those clocks up again put a bit more wattage into it and get clock speed instead of, you know, 1.7, 1.8. You'll get around 2,000 up to 2,200, depending on the game. And in GTA, for example, that equated to just over five frames per second. You, of course, can use throttle stop. You want to unlock the power limits. On the outside, it doesn't get that hot. You know, around 47 was the max I've seen. So pretty good for such a small and thin package. So anyway, look, thank you for watching. Have a full review of this coming soon. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.